In this repair video, we're going to be working on a device that belongs to us. A device that we've been using for the past five years. The Better Pack 555 ESA tape dispensing machine. We only bought this device when we got up to a point where we were doing a lot of packages. It used to be that we used to use the tape roller, the handle where you put the roll of tape on it and then you tape the box from front to back. Tape the box front to back. Sometimes we have to do it once, twice and three times for that tape to hold and be strong enough. Once we got up to a point where we were doing a lot of packages, we wanted something more efficient something that will get the job done a lot faster. So we went for the Better Pack 555 ESA device, and the device looks something like this. You've seen it on the channel before. I showed you how that machine works when we are doing boxes or packaging. And what's nice about this machine is it uses the gummed paper tape. We put a roll of paper inside, and that roll of paper, when we dispense tape, it's gonna go through a container of water, it's going to wet the back of the tape. And when you take that piece of tape and you put it on the box, the tape will mold itself to the box. So the tape will become one piece with the box. And the tape has built-in wires. Just as you see with Amazon tape, like your Amazon packages, it has built-in wires. It's going to be very hard to break that tape. Even if you try to rip it with your hand, it's going to take a lot of force and a lot of pressure. And you will see all the wires coming out when you try to rip that tape off. So... Really, the only way to cut the tape would be with a box cutter or a sharp object. So if somebody want to push down on the box to steal something from inside the box, that's not going to be possible because the tape will mold itself to the box. And if you look at the machine, it has a lot of buttons. Let's click on Uline. They have it for $1,400. And if you look here, the machine has a lot of buttons. Let's say I want 20 inches of tape. And how do I know I need 20 inches of tape? Let's say the box is 16 inches wide. Then I need to dispense a tape that's 16 inches. And we do like two inches on each side. So 16 plus two plus two, that's 20. I press on the 20 and the device will dispense 20 inches. So when I put the tape on the box, 16 inches will go on the top and two inches will go on each side. It will wrap on the box. So right now the machine, when you click on the button, it's not dispensing any tape. I hear a click, but it's not dispensing tape. Sometimes if I power it off, on, off, on, off, on, and I try again, it may dispense tape, but if I try again, it does not dispense any tape. It just clicks. At times, it does not even click. I press on the button and nothing happens, like the machine is off. So I do not know what's going on. I never fixed one of those machines before. I asked Big Boss to remove the motherboard so I can look at it and try to figure out what's going on. And if I'm not able to fix the board, then my next option would be to buy the controller board, which is about $280. And if the problem is not the controller board, then my guess is it would be the motor. Two main components on that device, the motor and the control board. The motherboard looks something like this. I looked at the board. I inspected all the components on the board and did not find anything obvious. We do not have any components on the back, only what we see in the front here. And the only thing that came to mind is maybe the relay that we have here is bad. So I ordered another one and I thought, let's try it and see if that will fix the problem. Like I said, no prior experience working on those devices, but just a shot in the dark. We're going to replace the relay and see if that will fix the problem. And I did order one. I found it on eBay and it came in a box like this. And let's see. The relay has six pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. No problem. We're going to add flux. And for such big joints, we may be able to use a solder sucker. Because people always ask, why don't you use a solder sucker when you are desoldering something on the board? Well, it depends on the job that we are doing. If we are working with microscopic components, the size of the tip of the solder sucker will equal maybe 100 components on that board. So you cannot use a solder sucker. But here, it makes sense because we have big joints on the board. So why don't we try it? We're going to heat up the joint. We can also apply low melt solder to make solder soft. But before we do so, let's just try it like this. Okay. 
Okay, so not too bad. Not my favorite method, but I thought let's try it right now. If I had low melt solder, let's try low melt solder as an experiment. So I can show you the difference. It's going to make a huge difference when we apply low melt solder because low melt solder will stay liquefied for five, six, seven seconds after I remove the soldering iron from the joint. And that will give us enough time to suck that solder off the board because solder is still soft. I mean, there are 101 ways to desolder a pin. I can also use a braid wick with my hot tweezers. I press on the pin and I can desolder that way. You can use hot air to just pull the whole relay down. I apply hot air from the top. So a lot of ways. We're just experimenting with different ways so you can learn. So we're going to apply low melt solder, but where's my fume extractor? Let's apply low melt solder right here. The nice thing about low melt solder is when I apply heat, watch this, look at this. Solder is still soft, still soft, still soft, still soft, still soft, still soft. It takes about 5-10 seconds for solder to harden and that will give us enough time to wake up that solder. Okay, that's what's special about low melt solder. So let's try it. Now I let go and look at this you see we can do the same here let go just take your time the magic of low melt solder let go take your time you don't have to rush and in case you did not know you can purchase everything that we are using here from our site all items are in stock and orders almost always ship out same day you can purchase original Ampec Flux, the one that we are using here, low melt solder, tweezers, braid wick, hot air station, soldering station, thermal camera, voltage injection tool, charging stations, everything. We have all items in stock. And like I said, orders almost always ship out same day. Right, and the relay just fell. It desoldered itself and fell down. And now we're gonna put the new relay in and solder it again. But before we do so, let's clean out the holes from low melt solder. We do not want low melt solder inside the holes because low melt is brittle. A lot of you are inquiring about the microscopes that we currently have out of stock. We have shipment on the way and we should have the scopes by next week. We do have the back order option on our site. So you can go ahead and back order one. And as soon as we have the scopes next week, we will ship one to you as soon as possible. And now we're going to install the new relay, which I have right here. That's the old one. And that's the new one. The old one looks burned from here. I do not know. Maybe because of the age. But like I said, it's going to be a shot in the dark. Hopefully that will fix the problem. And the relay will go right here. Let me do it that way so you can see. It's going to fit through the six holes, if I can see. Just like that. Now it's loose, so I'm going to hold it from the top, flip the board, and as soon as I solder one or two joints, then I can let go and finish the rest. But I need to keep holding, so we have a flush connection between the relay and the board. And I'm going to have to raise up the microscope, so we are in focus. And right here. Right now I'm holding that board. So you're going to notice maybe a lot of shake. Because as you know, our hands are not shake free. Some viewers ask, how come your hands are so steady? There are techniques for steady hands. 
we're not born with steady hands. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that and we'll go over it. You know, why not solder the whole thing while I'm holding that board, right? We're already done. Now I can let go. So I'm more comfortable soldering. Hopefully that really will fix the problem. Why don't we use our empty glare light so we can see the joints better. Look at this. Add some flux. Beautiful. We're done. Let's clean up. Beautiful. Look at the joints on those pins. Amazing. Hopefully we will have a working device and not have that work go for nothing. All right, so I'm going to hand the board over to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll put a camera on Big Boss while reassembling so you can see the whole process. I'll be back. Hello, 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 hello. Look at this. You see how the tape gets wet from the bottom because of the water container that we have here. So the machine is working again. Press on six. Very nice. Press on nine. Very nice. You see the six and the nine. Different size. And the machine is working. We did it. Wow. We took a shot in the dark and we fixed it. Amazing. Thank you, Big Boss, for reassembling and thank me for replacing that relay i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video